Okay, this is how we start and stop the music that we're playing. This is the signal that you're gonna hear. It goes, go, 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 da, ga, ga. Do, go, 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 da, ga, da. And then you start. Okay, one more time. Do, go, 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 da, ga, da. Start. Okay, sounds like this. Start. Okay, here it is one more time. Ready, set, and here we go. end you end the same exact way that you would start you're playing the music playing the music and then once you hear the lead drummer play that signal that's when you know to stop so again do do go 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 da ga da stop do go 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 da ga da stop ready here we go stop one more time two here we go Hello, and this is the first djembe part to sofa. Now, this part, it includes three different types of tones or articulations. This is the bass tone where we take our hand, keep our fingers together, and go towards the center of the drum, not exactly in the center, but close to the center. And we let it bounce as if it was a sloth on a trampoline. It gives this nice, beautiful tone, resonant. And um, the next tone that we have is our open tone, where we use the joints of the fingers, the big joints of the fingers here, and the top half, this is what strikes. This half right here is what strikes the drum head. So if I place my hand, and this is really important, the placement of the hand. If I place my hand where these, these joints, these knuckles are around the edge, I'm gonna be in the perfect place to get a good tone. So what I do is I strike just like I did the other one where I let it rebound off the drum head, just like that. Very relaxed, try not to stiffen your hand, try to be relaxed and get a nice tone. So that is the open tone. The next tone is the slap. This tone, we take the big knuckles here that are attached to our hand these knuckles wrap around the edge, and then our fingertips are what's gonna strike and release. So check it out. So when I'm striking, when I'm coming down to strike the drum, I'm striking my hand right here on that rounded part. Check it out. Notice that these fingertips bounce back up. They don't stay down. Listen to the difference. Correct. Incorrect. Notice that the second time that I played, my fingertips stayed down. We want them to rebound, to bounce back up off the drum head. So this is called a slap. It's that big high, high pitch that you hear. So we start out with two tones for this rhythm. Ready, go. Ready, go. Two tones. Then we add two slaps. So back to back. Do, go, ga, ga, ton, ton, slap, slap, here we go. Ready again. Ready again, and stay and play it. Do, go, ga, ga, that's right, yeah. So now what we're going to do is add another slap, but check it out, it's in a different place. Pause, a little rest. Here we go. Do, go, ga, ga, rest, slap. Here we go. One more time and here we go. Good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add another two tones. And add another two tones sounds like this. Do, go, ga, ga, ga. Do go. Here we go. Again, go. One more time. Then we're going to add another slap right after it. So 
Så skal man lave go, go, ga, 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 do, go, ga. part is cool because it adds that bass tone that we all love, that nice resonant bass. And it goes, it's followed by a slap. So it's a bass and a slap. Bass, slap. Ready, go. Ready, go. One more time. Excellent. Now the whole rhythm, the whole rhythm sounds like this. Say it, you can play it. So I'm going to say it first, then you repeat, then I'm going to play it, then you repeat. Do go ga 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 do go ga boom ga do go da ga ga do go ga boom ga do go ga 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 do go ga boom ga Excellent. Now I'm gonna play, and then you play. Here I go now. and have fun. Hello and welcome. This is the djembe one part to Bala Kulin John. Now what we're going to do is use two different tones, the slap and the tone. Remember the slap, we use this part, these knuckles right here that wrap around the edge of the drum. Nice, nice and natural. And our fingers are spread apart just slightly. And when I strike, I'm going to strike this part of my hand on that edge of the drum. And my fingers are going to bounce off, just like this. That's a slap. Yeah, that really high pitch. Notice that my fingers are bouncing off. If I leave them down, that's the sound I get. That's bad. So make sure that you let your fingers bounce. Excellent. Okay, cool. So we start out with slap. And then we add tone. Remember the tone is when we take these knuckles and wrap them around the edge so that the top half of the hand, these fingers right here, the top half of these fingers are what's striking the drum. And the tone is going to sound just like that. So those knuckles are going to be towards that rounded part. Okay, so we, we go gat. Get got is how we start with slaps. So position your hands, organize your hands. Ready, go. Ready, go. Got, get got, go. One more time, go. Excellent. Now we follow that up with two tones. Got, get got, go go. Got, get got, go go. Here we go now. Get got, doggo, cat, get got, doggo, one, two, here we go.